Hey guys, here are my predictions for Edexcel B3 2016. So, first thing you have to remind you is that I'm not an examiner. I do not know any inside secrets. I do not know definitely what's going to be on the exam paper. So please, please, please revise absolutely everything everything. Just because I don't mention something doesn't mean the examiners aren't going to bring it up, so revise everything. But one thing the examiners do love asking about is application and analysis questions. So, are you confident at analysing your graphs? Are you confident at looking data? Are you confident with your mean, your anomalies? Are you confident at drawing graphs? Because this is something the examiners love to bring up. A big part of B3 is genetic crosses and inheritance. So make sure you know all of your diseases. Make sure you know all of your genetic crosses really well. Because this is a great way to pick up easy, easy, lovely, lovely marks. The production of antibodies, immunisation and a body's response to a pathogen is really, really important. There is so much they can ask about this and this would be a fantastic question if it comes up because the answers are really, really lovely and this is the sort of thing you can practice and prepare in advance. Human behaviour and evolution is a big, big part of this topic. So we are talking DNA, we are talking fossil records. We are talking behaviours, so how did they start to cultivate things, how did they start to grow plants? There's lots and lots of exam board could ask you about this. And the last two things, because this isn't actually a very big topic, are hormones and enzymes. Now there is so much they can ask you about hormones. They could ask you about the menstrual cycle, they could ask you about water regulation in the blood, they could ask you about positive or negative feedback. So make sure you know everything about hormones really, really well and enzymes could come up in so many different ways. It could come up the actual uses of enzymes and that could be used in um, production, in the home, or it can be used in a genetic crop. So cloning and genetic modification, lots and lots of different things there. One of the excellent things about B3 for Edexcel is that there's not a massive amount of content in there, which means you don't have a lot to revise, but you have to be expecting some really, really tricky questions. So it's really, really worth knowing everything really really well and making sure your application questions are good so good luck guys um, I hope that's helpful remember don't just revise what I say in here revise absolutely everything I know how hard you guys have been working and I'm really really proud of you good luck guys